Hi, Cancer. Thank you for joining me. You're here with Bella Katrina, the angels. We are going to bring a message for you from your Lord and Saviour, Jesus, the Ascended Master of Unconditional Love and Forgiveness. Archangel Michael, your protector angel. He is head of security. We've got romance angels, head of romance. And look, Cupid's here. So welcome. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I don't get much feedback from you, so please write your comments, what you're going through, what the star sign of your past partner is, if you're a twin flame, if you're a soulmate, if you're divorced, if you're in codependency, so that I know what to, you know, do special, I can do specials for you and see, you know, so we can connect and see what you really need. So please have a big deep breath. We're going to bring in some messages for you. It's been a, um, you know, tumultuous time emotionally. The last eight weeks for you, they're showing me eight weeks, Cancer. And if you can just hold on a little bit longer, the next three weeks are going to be quite incredible. They're like going to be the intenseness. <laughs> I do bellarisms, okay, I make words up. Just go with me, you know what I mean? It's the intenseness of the last eight weeks are going to be replayed back to you in the next three weeks following just to see if you actually have overcome. It's like letting go of a fear, you know, full moons. If you've been doing this for a while with me, it's really powerful. Full moons, you release. And as soon as you release it within three days from death, there's a resurrection, it comes back to face you. Are you really over this? So it's a person, place, can be a situation, can be an energy, but it comes back to you. I released the Jezebel spirit and she came back to me within 12 hours in the form of a massive Alsatian dog about to pounce on me. And I was like, Rah! and the guy called back the dog. It was a security guard. He called the security guard. <laughs> it was God. Because my it was it was going to pounce onto my little multi Shih Tzu dog, right? Like she's gone, and I I remember it in the air, and I was like ah, and this guy whistled it back, and it turned in mid air this massive black Alsatian, and when it turned back, I was like wow, I think that's Jezebel, right? It was just like, you know, one of those freaky moments. And I looked at this man and I said, I'm so glad you can do that, like well-trained dog. And he said, yeah, well, you better look after yours because she nearly got eaten. I was like, bye-bye, see you later. I was like, and I ran home going, wow, that was the Jezebel spirit. I released it and then she came back in to go, rah, right? She didn't like it. So nine out of ten women have the Jezebel spirit. So you've already released that though. I know you would have done that by now because I've got videos on it. So they're the most important things. Here's a message from Jesus, Lord and Saviour. Whosoever shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. So some of you are needing a mother, a brother or a sister at the moment. And Jesus is saying he will be that for you. His faithfulness, it goes, it's infinite, infinite faithfulness. So you're like wanting a partner who's faithful, he's telling me. So if you could experience faithfulness, then you would anchor that vibration down and then attract it in. That's why we, we have Jesus. Without him, you can't do it. Because let's face it, not um, it's not available on this planet, unconditional love, in abundance. We look back in our lives and you think just for a minute now, when did I really experience unconditional love? And who was that with? So we want to bring that vibration of love into your present moment. If you go back into your past, you can grab it. Because this over, you're going to bring more love into your life, Cancer. It's time to leave this unhealthy situation. Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? I ask him this every day, actually. Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthful life changes. I don't say that bit though. <laughs> so we need to say the whole thing. You could write this down and say it every day, morning and night. Archangel Michael, what parts of my life do I need to focus on more closely right now? Thank you for helping me hear your answers and for giving me the courage to make healthy changes in my life. Right, because you know, being a cancer too, you like think to hold on to things. You know, they got, got the nippers. 
right? So you move sideways, you're not confrontational, right? You like to bring calm. But once you get a hold, those nippers get a hold of you, it's hard for you to let go. And you think, do I have to break my whole, like, it's, it's like I got jaw lock. That's why you have to leave this unhealthy situation because look, romance is coming in. So big, deep breath again and just writing this down, saying this every day. You're going to let go of something yuck so you can have something yum. <laughs> Getting go of the yuck yuck for the yum yum. Dear guardian angels of my beloved, thank you for preparing my beloved and I for love and for giving us the motivation to make healthful life changes and for arranging for us to meet. Thank you for helping us to recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. So building intimacy in a new pattern, in a new way. So intimacy is different for men and women, but um, you have men and women, the male and feminine within you, so it's different for you. So you're learning to know that you know, you're a complex being and that maybe you thought that this is what you needed, but actually over here you really just wanted it without getting your needs met. So your needs getting met is really, really important, they're showing me. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, Archangel Michael, and for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. Now, I've worked with Archangel Michael probably for 10 years now, very, very closely, helped me get out of a toxic uh, work situation and many codependent <laughs> relationships. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing, many of them. There was many of them. Um, but you need to call upon him and you need to say it out loud and then he will show up and then you'll feel better, right? Because it's not about what Bella tells you. It's not about what another reader tells you. It's not about it. It's your experience, Right, this is why I teach Reiki because it's like, you know, you can go and get a fish, but with Reiki by Bella, I teach you how to fish. So you get fed for life. Something about the changing your ways, your belief system, there's going to be um, old friends being left behind, maybe leaving a whole career. They're saying this is right for you, even though it's daunting. That situation was unhealthy. Some of you could just get your bag right? I did it once. They're showing me. I did it once. Because look, eternal love's coming in. Oh, please. Cancer. This is your soulmate. So, um, looks like a toxic um, situation ending or being forced to end. And you don't like leaving anybody out in the cold because you know what that feels like to be left out in the cold. However, this is self-preservation because romance is coming in for you. There's an eternal love coming in. Right, so you need to bring Jesus in as your mother, your brother, your sister and have him with you so that you can bring that unconditional love to. You're the bringer of it. You're the, you're the wing maker. You're the cracker of the code. You're the bringer of the code. It doesn't exist here. You're bringing it. So break those chains. Get Jesus in to help you because there is something wonderful just around the corner. It's called eternal love and it's with a beloved. So we're looking at what's coming up for cancer in love and romance. What is this person doing? Are they coming towards you? This is about the one that you're thinking of. What's coming up? And then we're going to do a snapshot for you of a combination. So let's see, what would the angels like you to know? So some of you are pregnant, going into motherhood. This is amazing, okay, amazing. So that's what it's, it's like letting go of stuff that you can't do when you're pregnant. Maybe that's addictions or something like that. So you're still worried though here, you're still worried. However, things are working out better than you could possibly imagine, which is fantastic, okay, because you've learnt your lessons. There's no more lessons to learn. Right, it's time for you to have fun. You've got two nines here, the nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups. So you're actually enjoying yourself for the first time in a long time. You're getting what you really want, but you're still worrying about other people. It's keeping you up at night because you don't want anybody else to feel left out in the cold. However, it's your oxygen mask first. So you're going to, um, you know, 
have a look back, have a step back and look at your own life, have an aerial view. This is also maybe relationship with mother, so self-mothering, self-care techniques at the moment, very, very um, needed. Anything else for romance? So they just showed me these two. So this is your internal masculine and feminine, right? The, f the feminine's being very critical and overanalyzing and worried, doubt and fear. What will everybody think? I hope I don't get, um, it's like humiliated, right? That's the feminine energy. And the masculine energy is going, come and sit next to me. I love your body shape. I love how you are. I want you next to me. Let's go on a holiday. You're like, oh, I don't know if I can wear a cozy. I don't want to be around the pool. I have to get my hair done. So stop worrying about what other people think of you. It's none of your business. This is your turn. There's a 10. Look, 9 and then 10. 9 and then 10. So this is coming in for you, right? Change this contemplation energy. I don't know what's going on To I know exactly what's going on. I'm going to step back and let go and just see who this person is for me and also see how they are. Are they a really nice person? Like, do I like this person? You know, sometimes we love people that we don't like. So let me know if you are pregnant, though, below, because that's a totally different energy there. So I'm going to come in now with the... Um, Rider Waite Tarot for Cancer. So this is about the one you love. How are they thinking about you? What's happening with them? The one that you love. Please, God, come in. Show Cancer to let go so that they can free fall into your divine love template and experience unconditional love. It's a crescendo of energy happening on the 21st of June. So we're in it now. It's like a wave. So you can feel it. But it's going to astound you. You're going to feel much better. This is what's happening. The one that's coming towards you. So you've got two suitors. This is why you're in a bit of concern, a bit of worry. So you may be with somebody in a marriage, right, or um, committed relationship, and then you've met your twin flame. So I'm not talking about, like, met somebody else that's PK'd your interest, really. But you also you could be really secretly in love with, um, you know, somebody that's like your boss or your brother-in-law. <laughs> can't believe I just said that. Or um, maybe you got no one. Just saying some of you have no one. But that's all about to change cancer. Okay, there's an acknowledgement for you keeping going when the time... You know, things got tough, the tough get going, that was you. So there's an acknowledgement here that you kept your deal of the bargain, right, without cutting corners, without lacking integrity and without, um, like, without being untrue to yourself, right? And it hasn't cost you. And this is your motto, like, relationships cannot cost you money financially, right? But that may have happened from this thing that you're letting go of. But in the future, they're not going to cost you money, However, at this moment, maybe it doesn't even matter because you don't even care. So you're not even concerned about the money. You really want love. However, you've worked very hard. Another acknowledgement here. Don't give up. Just think of another way of doing things, another way of going about this relationship, another approach, another destination, like not worrying about the outcome so much, right? No, Not worrying about so much of the preparation, right, to get everything ready, but actually start experiencing it. Again, this is like letting go. You've got to cut that off. It's whenever you're ready, you can move forward, right? There's no one putting these swords in your heart. There's no one chasing you from behind. You're free and you're going to realise that when you're ready, you know, just unravel that, take the blindfold off and look who's there. Right, because the angels are telling me here, Archangel Gabriel here, has heard your cry for a, love, a beloved, has heard your cry. And as it stood, it wasn't at the vibration that you wanted it because you had to clear things out and so did they. So this is your beloved clearing their stuff out and getting ready for you. This is alchemization, right, of um, emotions on the, like, I know they say fifth dimension, but it's in the higher realms. 
So there's something a bit more magical than you had in mind. And if you feel stuck like this, it's just because it's not ready yet and you can actually relax. Why is that there? Yeah, because you haven't made a decision here. You've got to make a decision to let go of the old. I know that sounds easy. All right, because there's a jealous female around you. You've got to just face it. This person... Right, you may have somebody who's breaking up with somebody or, you know, there's an ex-wife or an ex-girlfriend or something. They're very jealous of you, Cancer. And you don't care anymore. That's what you're letting go of. It's like other people's, it's like I still have to have, I'm not going to sacrifice my own fun and love because I'm too concerned about leaving somebody else out in the cold. And when you do that, you step into your power, which allows everybody to step into their power. Because here comes victory, success, love. You get the promotion. You get the offer. This is the first date, if you haven't been out on a date already. You have to open your mind because maybe you're not even thinking it's the person that's coming in. So whoever invites you, just go. You may not be them, but then you might meet their brother. There you go. Right, so it's, it happens like that. So just be open and receptive because love's coming in like alchemical marriage, right? This is like it um, serenades you in your heart. It's a serenade of the heart here, which is like you're like, what, what, right? This is what you called for and now you're thinking, am I going to allow it in? I'm not sure, right? So just... Do whatever it takes to allow it in. Love is here for you. There's a message of love coming. It's time for a holiday, time to celebrate and time to know that in your heart there's alchemization happening. You're turning from a carbon-based body to a crystalline base. And then you will receive what you need, right? It will just be um, for you because you're allowed in. It's a magical, wonderful time for you, Cancer. Allow love in. Love's the elixir. Like create, connect to your creator. Get unconditional love through Jesus. Clear your heart from anyone that you want, feel betrayed by and feel that you're betraying and clear the shame and lift it from your heart so that you can have this unconditional alchemy from your beautiful night. He's got a strong message. It's not mucking around here, right? And it lifts you off your feet. So you're feeling quite uplifted. But this, this indecision, doubt, fear, worry, I can't have it because, you know, somebody else's reality is more important than mine. You're breaking that. That's epic. Goes deep. If you want any help, reach out. I'd, I'd recommend you get your, your psychic reading and healing with me. It goes for two hours because you get a free upgrade. And it's very, very powerful. We clear your genetics, your coding. You feel fantastic. Fantastic. Find out who your love is, your life purpose, connect into the galactics. It's time that, you know, it'd be a really good time for you to set that up. A Shabam, most people do every six to 12 months. So hopefully I'll connect with you there. I love you, Cancer. Thanks for your questions and insights below. We're connecting there on a, and creating a grid of light. If you would like to see what else I offer, please visit my website, reikibibella.com. And I'll see you there. I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.